Hello and welcome all you lovely people. So as promised today, I'm going to be showing you the recipe of my favorite healthy magic brownies. They are indeed magic because the ingredient that I make it with is something that you had never expected that brownies could be made of. So today um, we're going to be making uh, healthy magic brownies and I am Karishma Shah. I am an integrative health nutritionist and I am a holistic wellness coach. Visit my website www.karishmashahnutrition.com for further details. So let's get, let's get started with making the brownies. Uh, these are our ingredients which we're going to be using for the brownie but we have our magic ingredient okay. Wait for it. After I show you, don't run away because I promise the brownies are going to be made fantastic. Okay, so here goes. Dun, dun, dun. So our magic ingredient is green peas. Yes, the vatana or the sweet peas or the green peas. Uh, very, very easy to get. Uh, it's available everywhere. The only thing that you need to do is you need to get these peas and you need to boil them. Once they're boiled and they're soft, you need to drain out the water and then you have your boiled peas ready. So today we're going to be making our healthy magic brownies from green peas and once you taste them or if you make anybody have it, they'll never be able to guess what they're made from and that's a guarantee. To begin making the brownies, you need a food processor. We're going to start adding the dry ingredients to the food processor now. You need one cup of cocoa powder, unsweetened cocoa powder, half cup of coconut flour, 3 4th cup of jaggery powder, 2 tablespoons of crushed flaxseed powder, this is a blended powder, 1 and a half teaspoon of baking powder, 1 teaspoon of baking soda. Once you've put all the dry ingredients in your food processor, give it, give it one quick blend so that all the dry ingredients are well blended. So all our dry ingredients are nicely blended now. It's time to add our wet ingredients. We're going to be adding our magic ingredient which is green peas and they're loaded with natural good protein. We're going to be adding one big cup of green peas which are boiled and strained. Half a cup of any plant-based milk. I'm using oat milk. One fourth cup of date paste. You can see the recipe of the date paste in my earlier videos. Half cup of applesauce. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. Once you've added all your wet ingredients, it's time to give everything a good nice blend. Your brownie mixture is now ready. We're going to scrape this out of the blender and we're going to put it into our baking tin now. Get your baking tin, cover it with baking paper and start pouring the brownie mixture into the tin. We've blended the mixture so well that you can hardly make out that there are any peas in this mixture. Once you've added the mixture to your tin, flatten it out so that the edges are well covered and your brownie batter is spread out well across the tin. So our brownie batter is ready. This batter now is going to be going into the oven. We're going to bake this at 180 degrees Celsius for about 40 minutes. You can put a toothpick inside and check if it's if it comes out clean, the brownies are ready. So we're ready to pop these in the oven and while these are going to bake, we're going to make the yummy frosting that's going to go on top of these. So while our healthy magic brownies are baking right now, we're going to be making a yummy frosting that's going to be going on top of the brownies. And again, it's very healthy to make this frosting because they're using very good nice clean ingredients to make it so let's get going with making the frosting so let's start making our frosting for making the frosting we're going to be using about one fourth cup of cocoa powder it's unsweetened cocoa powder next we're going to be using one teaspoon of salt we're going to be using about one fourth cup of peanut butter it's unsweetened peanut butter now we're going to be putting in one tablespoon of coconut oil and our last ingredient for the frosting is some plain water. Start adding the water bit by bit and start mixing the frosting. You can add in more water as needed later. I just like to use my hands to make the frosting but if you would like to use a blender to do the mixing, please feel free to use a blender. So our nice and thick and creamy frosting for the brownies is ready. 
we're gonna save this in the fridge for now and once the brownies are done we're gonna frost our brownies with this yummy frosting okay guys so our beautiful brownie is ready okay uh, we're gonna do the frosting now so we're gonna get our yummy chocolate and peanut butter frosting that we made before and now we're gonna spread it this is my favorite part I absolutely love frosting the brownies so feel free to do it however you like go wild I would definitely recommend to eat these brownies with the frosting because it takes it to a completely different level when you have it with the frosting so we frosted our brownies and these are now going to be going in the fridge. I actually like my brownies really nice and fudgy. So I'm going to keep this in the refrigerator for a few hours and once I take it out and I cut it, we're going to get these. These are, I already made these before to show you guys, okay. So these, this is how nice and thick and fudgy the brownies are going to be like, okay. Like the real deal, trust me. And the frosting on top is like a cherry on the cake. So now you've seen the recipe of the healthy magic brownies and I want you to try them. Please don't get intimidated by thinking that how is a brownie going to turn out if you're going to be adding peas to it. Trust me, it's going to be really nice. It's a very good addition to add to your daily diet. So you can have a piece of this brownie for breakfast with your tea or coffee. You can have it as a filler in the evening. You can have it for a pre or a post workout snack. And um, it's, it's a very good addition to add and in place of any other, you know, processed dessert that you like to have. You can have, you can make this at home yourself with natural ingredients and you can eat this. So if you like the recipe, please subscribe to my channel if you still haven't and like and share the video. Uh, I'm going to be back with lots more fun recipes which I've created and I hope that you like this one a lot. So take care.